Okay, taking a look here, this is actually a, uh, an article from National Geographic where back in the early days they would take a few pages out. So this is page 429 to 467 in 1920. And they just bound it with tape and made it into a little article on uh, birds of prey. Now it's interesting, there's a lot of articles about early falconry, uh, heavily on European falconry. But take a look at this. This will show kind of our sensibilities in 1920s. This is a group of soaring hawks, buzzards, we, you know, we call them hawks in the United States, but they're buzzards, um, budios, soaring hawks, you know, of course, most famously, the red-tailed hawk. Um, so it's interesting that they're referred to as hawks that are the friends of man. Very bold, poetic, dramatic terminology. But so it's interesting that in the 1920s, National Geographic making an article was recognizing how these are species that largely hunt rodents and how that's very helpful to us. Uh, also interesting, rough-legged hawk is called rough-legged hawk, but back then, you know, the ferruginous hawk was called the ferruginous rough-legged hawk because ferruges and rough legs both have booted legs. They have feathers on their legs, just like true eagles, and that's where that term comes from. But neither <clears throat> are hawks. And uh, in fact, where the rough leg occurs in other parts of the world outside of the United States and Canada, it is, of course, called a rough-legged buzzard because that's what it is. But again, friends of man. Well, let's take a look on the next page here. And we have only four members of the hawk family are our enemies, which is fascinating to think because what enemies is such strong language. What do you mean by enemies? Um, and it goes on to say that the goshawk the Cooper's hawk and the sharp shin hawk are enemies of man because they hunt songbirds. Um, well, it's funny that it says only four members of the hawk family. Well, <laughs> it's also showing uh, what it calls a marsh hawk. We know now that's a northern harrier. Um, evolved directly from the hen harrier of Europe and Asia. Uh, this sparrow hawk, it's not. It's a kestrel, which is a type of falcon. The pigeon hawk, which is not a hawk. It's a type of falcon. And of course, you know, Ospreys are not hawks, they're their own thing. So, oh, and it does also say that um, Merlins, the pigeon hawks, are, are the fourth one that's an enemy to man, but it's so uncommon that it's okay. We don't, we don't see it much, so it's unimportant. But of these, the only ones that are true hawks are the goshawk, the Cooper's hawk, and the Sharpshin hawk. All the rest of these are not hawks, and all these ones on the previous page technically also are not hawks. So, but I wanted to share this partly because of in my previous video talking about names and name changing, but also just to show the sensibilities. It's interesting that by 1920 in publishing, you did have National Geographic talking about how hawks, uh, well, you know, buzzards and hawks can be very good for us, but they still had terms like hawks that are enemies to man. Interesting. Just interesting to see that perspective.